Hey everybody, this is Matt and we're at Texas Toast Guitars. Thanks for watching. Today's video is about a new kind of double stick tape that, well, it's not new, it's new to us. Um, a kind of double stick tape that we just started using and why we think you guys ought to give it a try as well because it's pretty good stuff. Now, before we get too deep in the weeds on this deal, yes, I know that you can use masking tape and super glue. And yes, I know that Ben at Crimson Guitars uses that. In fact, I made a video about that exact same thing like two or three years ago about how I saw Ben at Crimson do this and does it even work and yes, I know it works. I'm going to leave a link to that video in the description below. So I'm going to save you guys some, some ink here, some, some carpal tunnel. Yes, I know masking tape and glue works. This is a billion times easier and 23 times faster, give or take a time. Okay. Anyway, so this tape is, um, you know, we, we, uh, we've been using that 3M tape and there's nothing wrong with the 3M tape, but sometimes it gets hard to get. So uh, we tried a new brand and we get it from Taylor Toolworks. Information in the description below. This is their double stick tape, paper backing natural, yada, yada, yada. For those of you who really dig masking tape, it sure feels a lot like masking tape to me. Now, I know what you're thinking. Well, that's great, Matt, but does it work? So glad you asked. All right, I've got a Strat template here that I'm going to um, use as my guinea pig, and this one is made out of beetle kill pine, which is always fun to work with. Now, dig this. Um, notice how I don't have to have a razor blade to cut this stuff. I'm going to put another thing of it here. I don't know why, but just because I feel like showing you guys. So I'm just sort of ripping it off and um, you can actually tear it by hand. Look, see? Um, so it, you don't need a razor blade to cut it. Uh, you did need, you know, a razor blade or, um, or a pair of scissors or something to cut the 3M stuff. So not better, just different. So, um, so I got some stuck on here. We're going to get this... Uh, Get this doodad. We're going to get it started. Sometimes getting it started is the trickiest bit, you guys. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. I happen to have this, this little, this little scratch all handy here. Let's see. Yeah, that might make, that might make removing the back section slightly easier. Okay. All right. And I'm going to line up the strat template here on the line and get it in the center <laughs> okay and it's done now um, what I like to do is take a, a clamp and kind of squeeze where the tape is but we've discovered that this stuff is pretty good and um, if you get it stuck down you don't really need to sweat the squeezy clamp but um, let's, uh, let's put it on the beloved pin router and see what it looks like. All right, that went pretty good. Let's see how it comes off. Well, it's definitely stuck on there, you guys. So use caution when pulling your template. But let's see how it comes off of the actual lumba. Not too shabby. Yeah, no, uh, no sticky residue. And uh, everything came off. Just fine, no, uh, no damage to my template. Yeah, everything's looking good. So now, what I'm going to do is, um, wait, I need this one. <laughs> so 
So because the pin router has the pin down here and the cutter up here, and everything has to go on in reverse, I am going to now put my, um, put my template on the back and cut the front. And if you haven't been watching me for a while, you might not know what that means, but um, I'm fixing to show you. And um, when it's all said and done, you will want a pin router. I can't do anything about that. Another cool thing about this tape is um, it's pressure sensitive, so you know you can kind of you can kind of wiggle it around a little bit, and then when you stick it down, it's not going anywhere. Let me put my dust mask on. If I don't put my dust mask on, people holler at me. You guys saw that cool trick that I just put the uh, put the the negative back in there to make my cavity deeper, but without making my whole everything else deeper. But that's what I was doing there, in case you was wondering. That's the cool feature of the having the the bearing surf or the bearing rub collar or pin, if you will, be the uh, be not attached to the bit. Okay, and again, as you can see. Everything came off nice and clean. Um, I'll go in and with a bearing bit, I'll, I'll make this little patch deeper here. You guys know what that's like on the strap. And I'll also clean up um, this little extra, extra bit here using a bearing bit too. And the, um, the, what I just cut out as the, um, as the new template. Okay, that last part there didn't have anything at all to do with double stick tape, but I did kind of want to get this all done so you guys could check it out and imagine yourself what rocking out with, uh, with this Texas Toast BKP Sunday Driver. And one of you guys will be lucky enough to do that. So um, anyway, yeah, let's recap. The, uh, the new double stick tape that we've been getting um, is, uh, is, works really, really great. Not that the 3M stuff didn't work fine, it's just that this stuff also works. So if you're having trouble finding the 3M stuff or you can't remember what number it is, because I always forget, um, you might want to give this stuff a try. Remember, all the information is in the description below. Um, and you can, uh, you know, you can do this. By the way, the templates that we, uh, that we use for this came from our friends at guitarbuildingtemplates.com. Check them out too. Um, guys, keep in mind that I would love to be a shill for any of these companies, but I am not a shill for any of them in that I do not get paid. So I don't get anything free from uh, the, the place that sells the tape or the templates. I have to pay full boat for that stuff. I just pass it along to you guys because I believe that you might want to know too. And I don't keep secrets from you guys. You know that. So anyway, um, if you have any questions about what we did in this video, or um, you know, or if you just want to tell me, hey Ben at Crimson Guitars uses masking tape and glue, I should do that too. Yeah, I got it, dude. No, you go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. I love all the comments that you get from that I get from you guys. Um, and the comment section is generally out of control. I don't really do very much regulating of the comment section. Um, it's it would be impossible to do. Um, but I love reading all that stuff. If you like the video, give me the thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, why don't you click that subscribe button and you can take advantage of knowing when we're going to be doing cool stuff like this because we do cool stuff like this 
all the time and you want to be on the bleeding edge of when we're doing it, don't you? Um, let's see, if you appreciate content like this, you might want to go over to our Patreon page and consider becoming a member. Even a buck a month goes a long way to helping us bring you guys neat stuff like this. But if you can't do Patreon, we totally get it. Um, like and share the video as many places as you can possibly think of because I don't go to forums, I got kicked off of all of them. So anyway, until next time, this is Matt at Texas Toast reminding you that if you're so smart, build it yourself. That's what I do. Thanks for watching, y'all. Now I know what you're thinking. I'm a real tightwad. What if I want to keep using masking tape and super glue? Well then by all means, go ahead. Um, this stuff from, um, from Taylor Toolworks is pretty affordable. It's like 11 bucks a roll. So if you can buy two rolls of masking tape for less than 11 bucks and a bunch of super glue, more power to you. <laughs>